Cheers, BrewTube. It's your host, Shannon Harris, aka The Brew Brother, back again for another unboxing video. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Flex Fermenter from Spike Brewing. Cheers. Well, first off, major shout out to the team over at Spike. Great group of people, good guys, good girls. Uh, had the pleasure of hanging out with a few folks from over there, known them for years, all great folks. Uh, they reached out to me, said, hey, we got this new product that's coming out and we're reaching out to you and a few other supporters uh, to see if you guys wanna try them out, test them out, and let us know what you like and dislike about them if so. So far, I love everything about the Flex. Uh, I may be making a lot of upgrades to possibly build this to be a Flex Plus. Um, here it is, uh, max capacity seven gallons. I'll probably be brewing anywhere between five to six and a half gallon batches. Uh, standard lid, uh, the Flex Plus comes with a more domed lid that can hold more PSI. I think with the standard, it's only two PSI. Uh, with the Flex Plus lid, you can go up to 15 PSI if you really wanted to like ferment under pressure or anything. Got two ports, which is awesome. As you can see here, I'm already thinking about making some upgrades to my Flex by adding a sample port, a two inch sample port, just so I can test fermentation along the way as it's fermenting in there. And then adding a spike brewing thermometer. Uh, it does come with a stick on thermometer, but as I'm going to explain further, I never really used that on stainless steel before. So I'm thinking about using this guy with a thermal well that's going to be added in there too. Uh, other accessories actually that comes with the spike, I mean it comes with levelers uh, so you can adjust the levels depending on the slope of your fermentation fridge or room that it'll be sitting in, some casters, uh, leg extensions if you want it taller, uh, all types of things that you'll see on the Spike Brewing website. So let's go ahead and dissect this baby and get into it more and I'll go through a few key points about the Spike Flex. Beautiful fermenter, I must say, from Spike Brewing. All 304 stainless steel, sanitary welded ports. Um, comes designed to take anywhere from as little as one gallon, but I'll probably say two, two and a half to be safe, up to six gallons with the marker. Uh, you can also probably get it up to seven if you want to push yourself to the limits with this bad boy. Um, Everything is pretty much pretty stellar. Comes included with a rotating racking arm. So pretty much you would just rack from this fermenter with the racking arm in an upward position until the beer stops running clear. And with the domed finish or the conical type bottom, all the true capture at the bottom, making you transferring nothing but the cleanest work into your kegs or bottling bucket depending on how you package your beer highly impressed with it as always with spike brewing their welds are pretty clean uh the tri-clamp fittings are a plus <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm highly impressed with it right now so far on the standard flex fermenter it comes with a pretty awesome uh lid Comes with clamps that have a rubber gasket that'll give you a pretty decent seal on there. Get that bad boy in there. Port for your airlock that comes included with it. The clamps will go on and pretty much latch on to secure the lid onto the fermenter, which is pretty awesome. And also comes with a four inch port as well, uh, or lid port, which is make it very easy to dry hop your beers or if you wanted to add a temperature control package it's enough room to add a coil into there that they sell separately as a full temp control package uh, you can slide the coil in there hook it up to an ink bird or any similar type of design product to help control your fermentation temperatures but pretty sturdy really love it that gasket is a great seal you definitely want to pay attention to the instructions on the installation because you can put it upside down and it comes with a very clear port on it but if you do the flex plus version uh, it does also comes with a stainless steel cap as well the cool thing about if you wanted to go with the temp control method uh, is pretty awesome comes with a coil ink burr style 
uh, controller for heating and cooling. You'll need to find your own cool water source with glycol or a cooler that you'll rotate ice and the water in. Um, they also have the neoprene jacket that actually goes on to the kettle on the outside and a wrap that goes around the flex to control on the heating side. So a lot of cool little features that they have for this whole entire design. Now we got the lid on here as I was saying you can just go ahead and get that bad boy on there pretty easy to latch these guys on. Uh, I do like that it has handles on the side which uh, make it for maneuvering around pretty easy but obviously when it is full you don't want to lift it and they do recommend to not do so as well. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that these handles come in. Still got that rubber handles with the grip on them like they do on their kettles. So that's pretty awesome. And this boy would just slide on just like that. Like I said, pretty sturdy, pretty easy. Comes with the three-piece ball valve on there and two ports as mentioned plus the port cover. And gives you the option to want to do other things and alterations to it. Like I said, you can add sample ports, thermal wells, uh, temp probes, all that cool stuff, uh, better racking arms or whatever you want to do with it with those ports. What I plan to do with mine, as you can see, I got a thermal well, a little four incher that I hold my temp probe in there. I'm also thinking about putting a temp probe into here with a sample port possibly. It's a two inch sample port and allow me to pull samples off during fermentation so I can get quick and easy gravity reading. So these are just some extra parts that I purchased now and I was hoping to possibly install at some point and see how it works out for me. So as you can see, I'm a huge fan of the Flex Fermenter. Spike Brewing has knocked it out of the park once again with their stellar customer service. Uh, the team of welders and fabricators that they got out there, overall, they just know how to build great products for all of your brewing needs. As you can see, I went on ahead with my own accessories and added the sample port so I can take gravity readings during fermentation. Uh, temperature probe, spike brewing temperature probe, of course, uh, just so I can get a better and more accurate um, feedback on what my fermentation temperatures are but you can customize these to any way you want with all of the mini accessories they have again they got blow off tubes uh, longer racking canes casters uh, brackets uh, jackets heaters cooling anything you can think of to make this more accessible for you and your brewing needs at home um, the price points are definitely stand up against the competition out there the standard flex 250 bucks to start. The Flex Plus is about 375 bucks to start. And I'm very excited to be one of the many owners out there and hopefully this video influenced you on your purchase if you're in the market for a new fermenter. For me, I'm sticking with this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and brew some beer and get her filled up, or him, <laughs> and get it filled up just so I can take it for a span or fermentation span as mentioned and see how it stands up and holds up for me. So if you have any more questions, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave some comments below, or follow the Brew Brother on Instagram, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Until next time, cheers.